so um welcome back to another episode of wands up wednesday i think we're well two months in now what what so today um i'm not exactly sure what we're gonna make i think we're gonna do something a little more intermediate level i'm gonna show y'all how to do like a um a wire wrap and since we did what did we make last week we made um clear quartz bracelets last week so maybe this time we will make a clear quartz pendant um all of the tools and stuff delivered so we'll go over that and then thinking at the end we'll have a giveaway as far as the tools and stuff go so yes welcome welcome and let's get started so um it's called winds up wednesday for a reason but we're gonna have to cleanse our space and all of that first so gonna get my sage and um get this ready to cleanse the energy give honor and love to all our ancestors our most recent ancestor Nipsey Hupso R.I.P. Um, yeah. Cleanse the energy, use fire. I think we are closing, officially closing out um, retrograde. Been a crazy one, been a doozy. But yeah, um, here we are. Now you need the jingle. Hi, Red Lady Lisa. Nappy Jules. Welcome to Wands of Wednesday. I was just saying that we are going to make a pendant today. And for everybody that makes it to the end, we did get our um, tools. Before when we first started, we decided that we decided that we were gonna have um hey snow bunny loves all we decided that we were going to um make jewelry kits so we did get all of the tools i was waiting on the tools for a long time so we're gonna be testing out the new tools today and then at the end i'll have a giveaway for you know somebody who's interested in making jewelry and you know they show interest by staying to the end <laughs> So let me make that as a comment so the people who come in know. Hi, Brittany Alexis. Give me one second, y'all. But how are you guys' days going? How's your Wednesday halfway through the week? World of Jazz, how you doing? Welcome to Wands of Wednesday. Sorry, y'all. One second. Ugh, I never know how to do this shit. Okay. Alright, so. For the tools. This is the one that's going to be a prize. So we'll save that to the end. And then for the tools, we got some files, which they won't come with the full pack. Hey, Mika. How you doing? So you got your son home. <laughs> so we will have, these are the files. Each kit will come with, like, only one file. So, yeah, because you don't need several files when you're just starting out and then we have these which are the flat nose pliers y'all know I only remember the names but the flat nose pliers pretty smooth and cool these are similar to some of the ones I have um, 
part of it. Yes, I hope you enjoyed him. He graced me with his presence for f two hours. I was appreciative. <laughs> um, so these are the ones that I already had. So these are the ones we are testing out. These are bent nose and these are regular. Regular, schmegular, degular. Alright, so we'll put this up. Oh, actually, we gotta do our uh, wand thing too. And then we have these, which are some bent nose pliers. Oh, shit. Then. One minute. Yes, um, I will send you some. Raven has been taking all the pictures. There, it's a lot on her page. I'll send you her profile. You can send her a request, but I'll DM you some pictures too. Found it. It flew. been enjoying yourselves all right bit nose pliers these feel like they need some WD-40 or something oh there we go that's better so these are mine and these are the new ones not the new ones but the ones that'll you know come in the kit so we got that you're welcome how you doing Hey, nothing good vibes, Uptown Cookie Dish. <laughs> we got the kit stuff in, finally. So we're doing a giveaway at the end. Um, but, yeah, so we're just testing out the tools. Let me fix this, sorry. We're testing out the tools today. They finally all came in. Um, did you get to see the pouches? The pouches came in. So these are the pouches that the jewelry kits will come in. And then the tools we're testing out today. So if we like the tools, then I'll place the order for those. So yeah. Also it comes with a front zipper. And then uh, what you call it? In all different colors. There's no specific cover. Yeah, I know. I know our time different. What time is it where you're at? I know our time difference is way off. So I'm happy you made it too. And then these are the round nose pliers. I rarely use these, but. They're still good to have, so I still might include them in the kit. These are the round nose. Those feel good. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. And for anybody when you're placing orders on like um especially on my website. Make sure you put your sign in the notes because if you do, they normally come with like a zodiac card like this. This is the Sagittarius one, but um, if you let me know your sign, then I'll put these cards in your, I'll put a card in your order. But if I don't know, then I don't know. Like if you order from an air sign collection, just let me know if you're a Gemini and I'll give you a Gemini card or, you know, whatever like that. And then these are the cutters. 
flesh cutters is what they're called, allegedly. Yeah. So today we're just going to do a simple, well not a simple, we're going to do an intermediate pendant. So it'll be a little bit of wire wrapping and whatnot. Um, is that it? I wish we could listen to music, but the music be playing. And then these are the files. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, the kits will only come with one file. But yeah. So we're going to test this out today. And we're going to test these. And the cutters. Which is going to be awkward using different tools than what I'm normally used to once because once you you know bond and connect with your tools they become your tools you know these are the regular flesh cutters I mean not flesh cutters the um flat nose pliers sink <laughs> I ain't trying to run y'all out of here girl y'all gonna be ear scratching and everything um, we may or may not need this, but we'll take it out. And then, the bent nose. Pliers. Okay. We do, we did already sage our space. And we will put our wands up in the air. This is actually a wand featured in the Air Sign Collection. So beautiful. Amethyst. Has a raw amethyst and just beautiful beads, little gold accent beads, amethyst beads. It's lit, literally. All right, y'all. So for our herbs today, we have lavender again. Mhm. Mm lavender. Hey, three love goddess. How's y'all weeks going so far? Been a emotionally draining week, I would say. But when you are in control of the energy and motion, you use whatever those feelings are you having for your betterment. Kill a key. Amp 5549, welcome, welcome. Oh, really? I saw y'all had like a little family self care day or whatever, had they facial scrubs and all that going on. I was like, y'all better get it. Y'all better exfoliate. <laughs> Good to see you too. Do you agree about what? About the emotionally draining week? Yeah, it's. Has been a lot. For real, for real. But just using it for your trying to transmute the energy for your betterment. Like a lot of times people will try to control your emotions and like try to get you to feel a kind of way, but you just always have to be present and Absolutely, rest in power. King Nipsey, they always taking the real ones, man. Actually, my uh, my stepmom is in here. And my uncle, you know, he was like, he was like that type of person. Like, Nipsey and my uncle, they kind of remind me of the same person. And, like, somebody took his life, too. Because, you know, when people see the greatness in you, they see the power you have. They want to take that from you because a lot of those people who are weak like that, they can't recognize somebody who's real. They can't recognize purity. So they want to attack it. And that's pretty much what happened with Nipsey as far as the story that's been putting out. I know everybody got their own conspiracies and all of that. But, like, 
I feel like that's just another way to control your energy as well. Like, you can't let all of these stories and all of this stuff that comes out in the media and even the stuff that they post on YouTube, which, oh, unlo unloaded, conspiracy, theory exposed, like, all of that stuff, like, be in control of your energy, for real. Oh, hey, Tony. <laughs> You have to be in control of it. And if you can't let people, because they try to get you all riled up and feeling a certain kind of way over stuff that you don't have a control over. But you do have control over yourself. So, honor yourself. Respect what you want to take in. And even like, when they be like, oh, you can't watch this and don't watch that. You can watch whatever you want to watch. But just control the way that you absorb it. Like, I look at a lot of stuff, certain stuff where people were f maybe feel like it's negative or, you know, it's, you shouldn't be paying attention to that. But it's like, I see the lessons in it. Like, you really get to see, I don't know, I just, I'm really into, like, psychology and, um, you know, human behavior and stuff like that. So, I just kind of view it from those standpoints. But if you can't handle that, then change the channel, unfollow that person, you know, block somebody, like, just really try to be in control of what you consume, but what time for Dipsy, what time for my uncle, Kenyatta, coming up on, what, six years, is that six years, it might be six years, Save time. As soon as it get warm out, people be wanting to take your life. Like, just weakness. Can't stand to see strength. Darkness. They want to take out your life. Yep. That's a long time. That's a long time. For real, for real. I still remember the last time I saw him. He was literally... He had this, you know, like this God energy about him. Like, I remember it was, we were at um, Tay's. Uh, it was whatever was going on in the valley for Tay. It was like a vigil or something. And he was like standing there like he was just so, it was like so God-like. Like his presence, his energy. And, you know, he was there for Denise, like, trying to protect Denise or whatever. And I just, like, that's the last image I have of him. And I always hold on to him. I mean, always hold on to that image because he was just, you know, a strong person. Like, they hate that. And it's too, it's like, people hate to see greatness and they don't really care about the people that are left over to pick up those pieces. Like, that's why I say, like. Look at somebody as yourself. Don't separate somebody from yourself. Like, to me, I am black women. Like, so I don't see somebody as my enemy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but, like, I don't see my sisters as my enemy until they show themselves as that. So, when you out on the street, as far as, like, with um, the, these men that see somebody who they feel like is more powerful than them or um and they want to take that away from them it's like see that person as yourself like try to figure out what that person is doing so that you can get there be inspired to do better like but the fact that two people lost their father like two families lost their father their brother their uncle their it's like it's fucked up it's fucked up and i'm sorry that yeah yes i say to the ancestors hi mickey welcome so yeah oh wow <laughs> that's facts and it was just three people in the room all right y'all let's get started let's burn some more sage let's transmute that energy We fall down, but we get up. Alright, so today, 
We're making a quartz if we don't break it. We're gonna do a quartz. So we're gonna do like an intermediate level. So we're gonna make a wire wrap. So we have 22 gauge and we'll use 16 gauge. Okay. So with wire wraps, like literally it's like you're following certain paths. Actually, all right, so I need y'all to put drop some numbers in the thing. Should we do two stone pendant or one stone? Like we can do a pendant and a, I mean a crystal and like a crystal bead or just a crystal by yourself. So one for crystal, two for crystal and bead. I know it takes a minute, and I'm going to drink some water because I'll be talking. I'll be talking that much. <laughs> okay. We got two. <laughs> so let's do a quartz stone and a quartz bead. Where's my crystal stone? Oh. <laughs> you know. It's so delicious. I, um, lately I've been ordering the, um, the, Diet to Earth off Amazon, but I only get the, is it Frontier? No, Star West Botanicals brand. So, if you can't find it, do, do they sell it? Like, do y'all have, like, bulk herbal stores there that sell stuff like that? I'm sure they do, but... you wore for picture day? That's how you were showing up and showing up? Yeah. Yes. Alright. I'll be up there in a minute. Welcome more Naomi. Oh. I didn't even show y'all the giveaway. So. So the person that stays to the end. You win. A complete mini tool jewelry kit and I will put a crystal in there and um, some tools to wrap it with we'll either do you can let me know what you want to make if you want to make earrings a pendant a bracelet I won't do a ring because it don't come with a ring natural so um, earrings a pendant or a bracelet and um, it'll come with that so this actually has cutter and the bent nose like a little mini bent nose y'all know I can't do nothing with these so I ain't even gonna try <laughs> my nails gonna be like baby girl when I do that comes with the round nose um that comes with this which is some kind of cutter I've never seen before <laughs> And flat nose and the pointy flat nose. So yeah, it has everything. Yep. Okay. So what we're gonna do this one has the Raven Mother Curl. Hello, welcome. So this one has the, like a little flat, not necessarily flat, but a 
I don't know, a white point tip, that's what you, if you will. <laughs> and it actually has a, a little twin. It has a little baby. See that? Baby. Here's a little baby. Okay. So. Hey, Moyana. I hope I said that right. Because I said it, I was real confident when I said it to me, like... That's Moyana. But I really don't know. <laughs> okay, so. We're here. Oh, using the new tools. Duh. So I'm going to go to the flat surface. This. Bend it up like so. And. Bend it like so up. Then I'm gonna come back here because I'm following the path of the stone. So this is 16. Sorry, I probably didn't mention that. Yeah, this is 16. Normally I would use about a 14, but since we're doing a wire wrap, I'm gonna use the um the 16 gauge. So that's how we let me know how's the lighting and all of that if y'all can see that might be better so like so bam bend it up a little so this is how it's ending so I'm going to take 22 gauge, a nice amount, 22 gauge, and our new cutters. I didn't even use these for the last one. I'm going to have to do that. Let's see. Okay. That's decent. That's decent. So I'm going to start at the bottom, leave out about a centimeter, and slow and gently wrap it around, making sure to hug the 16 gauge. Stratton, Stagus, welcome. See? Now I'm going to wrap it around. Where's our new bit nose? We have a nice grip. Keep going. Keep going. And take our file and clean off the edge a little bit. Make sure it's tucked. Then and that's where we are. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna come across on the other side. And also wrap that around like so. Did that one four times, so we'll do that one four times as well. Um, not for um, uh, not for a living. He just helps me out with the the bangles, and he makes the band, the copper band rings that I normally have on. And what else has he made? Oh, these really thick bangles. Which I have 
but they've been marketing. These need to be cleaned, but I'll just show you what they look like. Get these really thick copper bangles. They all have a different design. And my friend, she's an artist. She's a um a recording artist. They have a group mourning a black star. She wanted some like copper shield um wrist thing like armbands. So they like come across there. He made those two. Those are really nice. Yeah, he'll make like a few things, but not for like a not for a living. Okay. So then we're going to come back. Yeah, we actually we met working at a restaurant in Atlanta. We were co-workers and um yeah, so we just kind of been on this path together and just exploring different things. So it did definitely work out. It definitely worked out. Because he's from Guatemala and I'm from Ohio. But we were both working at the same restaurant in Atlanta at the same time. And now we built this life, building this life. So definitely by chance I mean um, not by accident okay um you want to come back through and wrap her around again how did you and your husband meet what do you guys do So I wrap that around four times. Now let's check our crystal. That's where we are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more, maybe one or two more times across. No, we are in Ohio now. We moved to Ohio when my son was four months. And then now we have a seven-year-old and two twins. I mean, not two twins, and a set of twins. Breaking at a supermarket, I was like, she was a pretty kid. What's up with her name? Okay. Come on, work, babe. <laughs> That's hilarious. Got the work bait. Mm -hmm. Work bait is fun. <laughs> Such a slut. Ah, you live. You gotta live. Alright, so here we are. Now we're going to come. We're going to take our big, thicker wire. Come across. So, I'm um, securing the baby, the baby crystal. Um, cross, following the path of the stone. Um, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I said thank you already or not. Alright. So, we came right on the cross. Now we're going to hit this bad boy like so.
All right, this one is gonna be a little. Oh shit! Wrong tool, y'all. <laughs> I'm only supposed to be using the new tool. I feel like I should have did this another way. Oh well. Yeah. All right. Start, start, no, 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 I'm gonna keep going, challenge myself to just do it, for a wire wrap bracelet, possibly, and if it has like a connector, like, this would technically be a wire wrap bracelet. This is not the one that you have to make, but I'm just saying, this is technically a wire wrap bracelet. And this is 16 gauge, and it has a closure. So, that, um, you know, that'll help. But if it's just like an adjustable bracelet like this, it's not a good idea. Like, this one is adjustable, and it's 12 gauge. And I think... If you caught last week's episode, we did closures. If you did not, it's on YouTube. It's the last ones of Wednesday. I have a couple other videos, um, but it's the last ones of Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate all the support. Hey, you did ask for it. Ask, believe, receive. <laughs> She's the main reason, like, that sparked this up. I always wanted to do it, but I also needed to know that it was needed. She was like, um, do you do tutorials? Do you do tutorials? Like she was asking me. And I finally did it. Okay, y'all. I'm not feeling this. So I'm just going to cut it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry, I had to use my tool just what I'm used to these little cutters okay that even came off decent No. Where is it? Ain't that about a blip? All right. Well, we needed a longer piece anyway. Hey, I'm gonna order some more wire. Absolutely. Absolutely. And different ways to do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a doozy. It is a doozy. You just gotta transmute that energy. Alright. So. I'm going to start. Here y'all see. Here. 
Huh, somebody said something about a hobby. I love it. You sparked the new hobby. Oh, awesome. Glad to hear that. Okay. So I'm just going around. Trying not to touch the stone. But, and also while you're making jewelry, while you're making your personal pieces, this is only for personal pieces. Um, you know, be pro programming your intentions in there, especially for something like clear quartz, which is a uh, extremely programmable stone. A perfect stone for you to program your intentions into. So, for personal pieces, you always want to be programming it with your intentions. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um. Yeah, I'm gonna come across. Let's do that. Pull it tightly. Come back around. So we cannot <laughs> So we cannot the twenty gauge to make sure the stone the pattern will come naturally, right? I think so. <laughs> and I think you mean like you're following the path of the stone, is that what you're saying? But you know, also securing it so that it doesn't fall out. Did I get that right? Go to the other edge. Wrap that bad boy around. It's a brave. I hate when I be all hunched up. Like, try to remember to take full deep breaths, relax, tense up. Yeah. Right, yeah, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just, yeah, following the path of the stone. What time did you say it was where you were at? I always make sure to group it back together or whatever. Thank you. What? Dang. <laughs> what time is it where I'm at? Shit. <laughs> oh, it's four. Okay. That's a decent time though. I mean, time difference. 
Yeah, so when I'm doing them like the late ones, it's like, what? Probably, if I do one at 10, then it's like 3, 2 or 3 there. Yeah, that makes sense why you haven't made it. <laughs> Sorry, I need some more water. Where are you located? Three love goddess. Okay. Coming back through on the top row. Okay. Cool, cool. I figured you were going to say that because when you asked, but yep. Yep. I actually, I grew up in Atlanta. I'm originally from Ohio, but I grew up in Atlanta since like 97 is when I officially, no, 98 is when I moved there. And then I left in 2012 for good. I did leave one time. Um, my last six months of high school, I had moved back to Ohio to stay with my dad. And then once I graduated, I moved back to Atlanta. So that was in, what, 2008? And then 2012, when my son was born, we moved back to Ohio. But I definitely still, I want to move back south. I'm over the cold. Tired of it. We just finally getting some warm weather. It's going to be... It was a little... Like, this morning when I woke up, which was like 10, 30, 11. <laughs> um, I had went outside and it was kind of warm. And then a couple hours later, I went out and it was cold. And I'm like, God damn it. So, but later this week, it's well, like tomorrow. And the next day, I think it's supposed to get up to 70. Oh, what time is it? 4.30. Okay, cool. How you like it? Oh, shit. How you like that A? How you like that A, shouty? <laughs> what up, shouty? That's how they be down there. What up, cool? <laughs> man, oh, man. I used to switch my... But they all kind of country in St. Louis, too, though. <laughs> When I first moved to Atlanta, hi the hood, Botanica. <laughs> when I first moved to Atlanta, um, when I was like seven or eight, I did not understand what the hell they was down there talking about. Then I just turned into this person who fluctuates accents. Like when I would visit Ohio for the summer, I would be all proper. <laughs> and then when I would visit um, my little then when I would visit, um, go back to Atlanta, I'm back to my other country, like country self. <laughs> nah, I'll shout it. Like, hey, man. But yeah, it's cool. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Are you an ATL to the hood, Botanica? Hi, welcome. Leah, I love you too. Is that what your name is? <laughs> Alright, so that's where we're at with the crystal. Y'all didn't let me get all talking and, talking and stuff. Alright, so we're going to get this. Yes. So this is Wands Up Wednesday. Oh, bless you. So lucky. Um, so this is Wands Up Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I make jewelry. We puff on our germs. We puff on our wands. Um, this is, um, what did I say? Lavender. It's lavender. <laughs> and then, you know, we make jewelry. And then every episode is uploaded to my YouTube channel. So, if you want to catch the past episodes, they are on my YouTube channel in my bio. Okay. 
You living in all the world places. Yes, I'm about to be making yours in a minute. Hey, Taya. Yeah, I'm about to be making yours and some other orders I got in. So, absolutely. Oh, was that you that sent me a message on your order about um, wholesaling or something? Because we definitely offer that. Alright, so I'm just going to take this little piece and secure her right on through. So I'm going to go. Okay. Absolutely, you can just DM me. We can talk about that. Feel loves music, welcome. <laughs> So we're gonna come through. You have a crystal store with this one? What you mean? Coming through. Okay, cool. Look forward to it. Come through. Hmm? It's upstairs. I didn't have it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now we're going to come back through. I'm going to wrap this one around the lower wire. Oh, don't let me forget, y'all. We're supposed to do, um, <laughs> this one's supposed to have a bead, too. I got to make sure that come out even. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll be sure to check that out. That would be dope. Yes. I love all of the self-love and self-care and all of that. And what that means. Because people swear it's just a herbal bath and move on. It's like, no. Like, you have to check yourself. Check people around you. You have to say no. You have to uh, manage and monitor what you consume. The energy, like, it's a lot involved in self-love. Then this one is all about African spirituality. Sweet. Absolutely, girl. I am down. Self-care is also different for us. That's facts. Us meaning black women, right? Yes. Facts, facts. Alright, so. Mm hmm. Yep. I tell people all the time like, you ain't gotta do all that. <laughs> like, you can just cut that shit off where it's at. Like, period. Like, period. Okay, look. Okay, so. Let's put the bead. Let's put the bead here. I'm going to come across two times with this one. Which, this is a more intermediate um, lesson. So I'm just going around. This is called the um, wire wrapping tool. <laughs> so I'm going to come around with that. Make a little setting for our crystal bead. Absolutely. We got everybody in here focused on self-care. We need it too. Like... It seems like as much as us that actually are trying to, um, okay, thank you, ma'am, are trying to teach about self-care as much as us that don't have no goddamn clue as to what, what it is and what that means. Like it's so much more than a crystal. Facts. That's facts. That is facts. Like, 
that's why I wouldn't really align myself with feminism, more so womenism, because we have a different set of issues. Like when you've been attacked from your own people to like it's a cool thing, like people feel like it's a cool thing to bash black women. You were where you where you Oh, okay. Um, um, you know, like, they, it's a cool thing. How do you post your live? Hell, I don't know, child. <laughs> I know I can press this little arrow and send it to people. But that's all I know. So, hopefully she'll come back in and let us know. Tag her in your post. Tag who? Oh, okay, I see. Just make a post and tag me and then send people. Is that what you mean? <laughs> okay, y'all. So, that's what we have the setting for the stone. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Nazinga. <laughs> Okay, so this one was a perfect size. Oh, we still gotta secure that one a little more. But at least we got the crystal in there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna come back across with this one. And cross around. Like so. See how we have that much left over. <clears throat> now. In a silent baby girl. <laughs> in a silent baby girl. I was about to ask you that earlier. Like, I wonder if the in is silent. <laughs> but they should have never made silent letters in the first place. They should have just, you know, knowledge. You mean knowledge? Knife. You mean knife? You know, like, what's up with the silent letters? Just make them invisible. But, I got you, Zynga. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, with this one, we're gonna come... <laughs> Come back. Oh, this is too big. I got you, girl. Baby girl, I got you. With the American language, they just really tried it, you know? They tried it. And Cat Williams was the only one to bring it to our attention. Like, you should see my son with his homework. Like, me trying to tell him, like, no, you spell no like this. And he's like, you mean no? And I'm like, I know, son. I know. But, because the Americans said this how we got to do it, this how we going to do it. You have to put those silent, invisible letters. Just confusing the children. Confusing them. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so let's take these out on the thicker gauge. Mm. Let's see. Eh. Mm. You kind of have to wiggle it and move it around and all of that. I guess. It's cool for. Oops, um, yeah. Exactly. She Hell, you saw my big grown ass was up here confused. Calling her Nazinga. When I know. I know better. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Ooh, snowman. Hey, Mark Reynolds. Oh, shoot, y'all. We only got um 30 seconds left. So I'm going to post this, and then we're going to come right back. Okay? And let me take a screenshot right quick so I can post it on my story, too. I have time. Alright, 
see y'all in a minute. <laughs> Yo, let me show you what I just did. Trying to be cute, trying to be fast, doing too much. I forgot to share the last live video. So what's going to happen is, I did save it. Woo! Woo! I saved it. <laughs> So it will be on YouTube, but yeah, it will not be on Instagram. So if you missed it, you just missed it. But the replay will be on YouTube. So go to the link in my bio and watch it. Okay? Let me wait for my peeps to get back in. That's what we have so far. A little pendant or whatnot. Using our new tools. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's go back around. Now we are going to take our two. Hey, Amp 5549, welcome back. Three Love Goddess, welcome back. <laughs> so, um, I was saying a little slow today. <laughs> I didn't get to save the video. I mean, I saved it, but I forgot to share it. I exited it out before I could share it. So it won't be on my, the first video won't be on my Instagram, but it will be on my YouTube. Okay, <laughs> don't blame me, blame it on the last day of the um, effects of retrograde. That's what we're doing today. It ain't my fault, it's retrograde. <laughs> but okay, so what I did was I ran around one more time on the stone. That's better, that might be better for light. Then I made a loop up here oh okay this has two different sides okay I made a loop up here Oop. like so now I'm going back around <laughs> um so basically Retrograde is the planet Mercury, which is the planet that represents communications, technology, and things like that is. What you mean? <laughs> so basically the planet is like going backwards or moving backwards or something like that. So it's like. Even like forms of communication can be I mean, uh, misconstrued. Like people are confused. Like what the hell are you saying? What are they saying? You know, everybody's just confused. And you know, there could be more arguments. Um, they say don't sign contracts and stuff like that. But even with that, you just have to figure out what works for you. Because sometimes retrograde works in people's favor. It just depends on how good you are at manipulating the energy. Um, but um yeah like there's arguments there's a lot of like you know all of those it was like a burnt um uh, it was a plane crash this month there was that shooting that happened uh, i don't even know where it was but there was it's like all of that stuff 
it's just like stuff that happens during retrograde. Like last year at this time during retrograde, I was in New York. And the event, it happens multiple times a year. <laughs> um, but the event I was planning to go to, I drove, like literally I had made hundreds and hundreds of items for this event. Drove them near nine hours to New York City. And I get there in the freaking event, like we couldn't even, um, we couldn't set up like the venue that they had booked or whatever. You couldn't have people there um, selling, like selling goods for money. So they didn't even check that. Like that's the kind of stuff that happens on retrograde. Uh, my grandfather had died. My I had another grandfather that passed this year. Like just all kind of stuff, like. It's crazy. All of these arguments all up and down Instagram and YouTube and here and there. Like, just the overflow just seems like an obnoxious amount of drama happening right now. <laughs> That's retro great stuff. Welcome, Blue Diamonds 1920. But yeah. Okay, so I made that loop. Now I'm going to. Oh, we're using our new cutters. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you definitely can. And I'm sorry to hear that. I can definitely relate to those types of relationships. Mm hmm. Okay. Got it. Taking our new tools. Like so. So we'll have a trivia question at the end to determine who wins the jewelry kit. Or, you know, the person that stays at the end. It'll be something that we discuss throughout the live. Since one um, live expired, that just shows me that I've been talking for a long time. <laughs> I normally don't talk that much. Alright, so we're going to um, do one more. See, we have this top row that's not really secure. So I'm going to secure that down. Hey, Learn to Care Less. Welcome, girl. Welcome, welcome to Ones of Wednesday. <clears throat> okay, break that up. Um, let's do it. We'll do it mostly on this side, and then we'll put a little bit on the other side too. All right, so we have the top layer. We're gonna secure that around the top layer, which I'm pretty sure I just said that. Thank you. Oh, somebody asked something about finger protection. <laughs> Is there a tip to protect your fingers? Mine's hurt. What you mean? How your fingers hurt? From from doing this? So I take herbs. <laughs> like I take the relaxing herbs and stuff. Um, you know, herbs to help me with my anxiety, depression, and stuff like that. And like tenseness. So that definitely helps. Um, outside of that. I would, you know, recommend, you know, like lavender and chamomile and some other herbs that just help you chill out a little, relax your nerves. I can't even think right now. Normally, I would know off the top of my head, but I'm in jewelry mode. I'm not in herbal mode, but there's some um, relaxants. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you wrap that around, but uh, what else I going to say? Yeah, probably like hands exercises, probably, you know, just kind of stretching your fingers, stretching your wrist, those stress balls, um, what else? Is that, if that's what you're talking about. 
<laughs> Thank you. Sorry, you can't sit with us. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, we. Oh, you mean like um, protect your fingers from the copper, like the dirt. You can use gloves. Thank you. Did I say thank you? These gloves help. The I think they're called Gorilla Glue gloves. Gorilla Glue gloves. Tongue twister like a mug. Um, these help. I use this when I'm cleaning the wire because my fingers will definitely get dirty. They're cool now, but I didn't really do that much cleaning. But yeah, these help. Um, yeah, that's all I can really. From the paper. Oh, and wear copper. Make sure you're wearing your copper. Like, get you some copper bracelets. Wear them, and um. That'll definitely help protecting, you know, from the pain of wrapping. Take deep breaths. Make sure you're stretching out all of that tension. Take full breaths. You can kind of tense your body up and release. Take your body up and release. I learned that at therapy, y'all. Yes, therapy is a lifesaver. Um, we should all be going. See y'all talking about pain. <laughs> I don't, see, and I take herbs for pain, so I don't begin that much pain. Yes, welcome. I set a set jewel. No, I set my eye. Somebody else came. And um, life, Samimi, Gloria Lynn. These are your people. Um, Hood Botanica. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so, really? Yeah, definitely put on some, um, do you put on, do you wear copper jewelry while you do it? And you might be using too thick of a gauge. Um, you might have to use a smaller gauge. Like, the 12 gauges is harder, you know, to wrap. But like stuff like this should be much easier. So everybody that just coming in, this is what we made. Um, the first video where we did majority of this, yes, thank you, I appreciate it, girl. The first video where we did most of this um, did not get shared, but it will be on my YouTube channel. So if you subscribe at the link in my bio, and you'll get the notification when I drop the next episode. So I was able to save it. I just was not able to share it. And you can't go back and like, oh, shit, I forgot. So, yeah. But it will be up there shortly. It'll be up there sometime today. So y'all can see how to make this. And all of the other jewelry we made. We made bracelets, earrings. So far, so far we've made bracelet, earrings, rings. We made flexor rings. So this is a flexor. Like so. We learned how to make these. There's two episodes with these on there. Um, yeah, we got pendants and everything. <sighs> yes, I can. I need to focus on that, but yes, you can. I did have a episode where somebody was trying to take claim of my work of my actual design. So for everybody coming in, where do I have one? So these are the chakra puff rings. Actually, this is the chakra puff ring. So it's a smoking ring for people who smoke, you know, some of us smoke lavender and stuff. So you basically put your joints or whatever blunts there. Smoke, chakra. They mainly, mainly come in copper, but I don't have a copper chakra one made right now. But um, this is a full... Oh, thank you, girl. <laughs> This is a root chakra one with obsidian. And then for everybody at the Hood Botanica brought, 
this is um, the royalty wands this is the brass and amethyst one it is on the site and we have different ones like this I haven't posted this one yet but this is a rose quartz and brass royalty wand <laughs> yes so the rings come in different sizes so this is not done actually I'll wrap this for y'all right quick so this is the chakra puff ring it also comes minus the chakra puff too so there's the chakra wand ring it's basically a bigger version of this so this is a chakra. This is a mini chakra wand ring. And then this is the chakra. This is the one it comes in without the puff though. There's two different versions. So yeah. Yes, I'm excited too. <laughs> and then this is the copper chakra puff. Comes with a double. All of them come with a double. So that's like something that's actually my design. This is the mini puff ring. And then we have a little puff. Do I have one over here? Yeah. This is the little puff. For people that's not as dramatic, that don't want their whole finger covered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. For real, y'all. We gotta finish this. <laughs> Absolutely, that is the point of it. Like, first of all, we not destroying. We not burning our nails anymore. Okay, that is oh, we know we don't burn our nails no more. We got our puff rings <clears throat> and our royalty ones. Okay, elevated smokers. Okay. <laughs> She, we puffing like a goddess around here. Uh -oh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down one more time on the bottom just to make sure it's nice and secure. It's kind of a cage-like piece, but it um, it's not covering majority of your stone. See? So it's a cage without covering the beauty of your crystal baby and this one is about finish what y'all laughing at <laughs> absolutely okay especially me with my long ass nails i'll be like um yeah i can't do anything with that i can do nothing with that shit with my little roaches yeah, I'm so excited for us to get that thing going. I've been trying to find somebody in L.A. or California. Like, you know, the places that it's legal. Like, the royalty wine and the pop, the puff ring need to be there. Showing off, okay? For all the goddesses. You know what I'm saying? Fact. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry, we're I'm just chilling. <laughs> Alright, so this is the pendant. Look at her. Look at her. Ooh. Pretty. Beautiful. And then we're going to use this nice thick copper chain. Um, I'll show y'all how to make a closure right quick too. And, okay, with y'all big, big rich bags, okay. I know, you know, Melrose, they got all the fancy stores. I don't know the names of them, but I know they over there. <laughs> Fendi and all of that with the royalty ones, and they're going to be mad. Like, girl, here you go. Let me put you some more cards in your box, too. Like, hit her up. Hit her up. We'll get you together. <laughs> Cause they slipping, and then they gotta know the healing benefits of copper. Cause people be trying to play copper, like okay, copper is all of that. 
in somewhere, okay? Don't try to play copper. I love copper. <laughs> Alright, so cute. Now, so this is a nice size chain that it doesn't really need a a jump ring to um, close it. So we're just gonna make a quick little fish hook, which is the same way that you would make a um it's the same way you would make a earring fish hook, but we're gonna make it for a necklace. Mm -hmm. So this is 16 gauge. I'm gonna take our new file. Okay, first person who tells me what herb I was smoking today <laughs> is the one who wins the jewelry kit, which I'll show y'all in a minute for today's giveaway, which we all normally do giveaways, but this time, this time we did. So you want to file the edges so you don't have any scratches on your jewels, I mean on yourself, you know, on your neck and stuff. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. I'll show y'all what she won in a minute. Okay. So since we're using the two, oh, these are the ones that'll come in the kit. The um, round nose players. Am I loading y'all? Am I messing up? Hey, Billy. <laughs> I was just telling Jeff, I'm like, I don't know why they messing with Billy. Billy seems like she bought that life. <laughs> yes, the green lavender. The green lavender. Okay. All right, so, putting that hook. Then you're just literally going to come around like so. We made a necklace today. I'll show y'all in just a minute. Right now I'm just making the closure. So where are we at? Where I just do with that? Okay. I'll be losing my mind if you know. Okay, good connection. Okay. Then you're gonna come up a little. I appreciate y'all all for hanging out with me today. The hood about time to come and rolled up with all the homies. With the whole West Coast. And I, uh, <laughs> I was about to say, and Zinga made it. Three Love got it. Billy made it. This is cable chain. I don't know. But in the, for my jewelry kits that I ship out, they'll come with the ball chain. The ball ball round ball chain yeah ball chain or something like that yeah and the closure okay um file file okay here we go hey west coast showing out one time for nipsey r.i.p imprian welcome okay so we're gonna file this Make sure it's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. And everybody who is just coming in, the this episode will be uploaded on my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio to my YouTube channel. And um, oh, and thank you, Learn to Careless. And um, yeah, so y'all can see this and all the other pieces. We go over, we have videos where we went over how to strip copper wire, how to strip copper wire, like when you buy it from a hardware store, how to clean it, um, different gauge sizes, different tools. So yeah, we got a lot of content already ready to go for you on my YouTube. Yes, one time for Nipsey. Blue hearts for Nipsey. We got a, we got a little emotional in the earlier <laughs> um, part of the video so 
Um, oh, so this is what we made today for everybody that just got here. The video did not save. I mean, the video did not share to my Instagram, but it will be uploaded on YouTube in just a moment. But this is what we made today. Clear quartz with the bead. And then we are going to connect the... Yes, come on, blue hearts. Open that up. Then we're going to put our little... Hmm. Yeah. That was very, very sad. Very, very sad. And it's so, it's like, it's just messed up because, like I was saying earlier, like, people who leave here they're not leaving they're not in pain you know they're just kind of they're free like their spirit their soul is free on another level but it's like the women and children are the ones who left here in turmoil to pick up the pieces and all that and that is the part that hurts me the most like thinking about Lauren and those babies and everybody else that you know loses their loved ones to some form of gun violence or whatever just because somebody want to be like mad hating it's just like can the kings live? Can the real kings please live in peace? Okay? How about y'all go kill somebody that's terrorizing women and children and all that? Like, leave the kings alone. So, yeah, here we go. That's the closure. That was really easy to make that closure. Try it on. It's a nice one, too. Hey, feeling like I'm on. I'm a little thug or whatever. Thug life. Nice one. Probably shorten it up a little bit. But this one, you can, um, it's adjustable. So, like, if you want to make it into a choker, just adjust it. Down. Hold on. Sorry. I just want it to be short enough. I did it on the wrong side, y'all. <laughs> ah, that damn lavender. And the lavender got me hungry. I'm about to go eat my leftover Chipotle. <laughs> and then you just connect it. Sorry, y'all. Uh, it's still winter time. <laughs> and then you can see the back. Like so. so it's an adjustable chain we made today. <clears throat> really cute. And then this is the chakra necklace. That's also on my website and my Etsy. So yeah. Alright y'all, we're gonna get ready to close out. You know the babies if y'all hear the noise coming through <laughs> they about at their limits well really not really because my husband hasn't even been gone that long but whatever actually we're gonna close out with the santo with the pilo santo yes make sure you email me i mean not email me but dm me your address and i'll get your kit oh i didn't even show y'all the kit that she won let me show y'all right quick these i won't be selling i just wanted to see how it was i can i guess i can still test it out or whatever but i just wanted to see how it was or whatever but i'm gonna just give it away i don't um assuming that everybody that make jewelry got nails i'm gonna just make that assumption <laughs> and just say um these are not good to sell but yeah so that's the kit mm -hmm. and it's gonna come with a piece of wire a crystal and you know you just let me know what you want to make bracelet earrings or necklace and I'll adjust it for you like that but they come with all the tools or whatever 
you already you saw all the tools and stuff. But mm -hmm. exciting. The cutter and even the bent nose pliers, which I never seen the mini bent nose pliers. Cool, cool. Alright, y'all. For real, for real. Let's close out. Put our wands up in the air. See? Got our lavender. Our green California lavender. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me today. I definitely appreciate it. Y'all came sharing energy. We got some wisdom, some jewels, and all that. And y'all have a great Wednesday and good night, Nasinga. I know it's it's nighttime over there. <laughs> y'all have a good night. <laughs>